In this Cyberpunk 2077 build guide, I'll be showing you my Tech Engineer build, which is a build that uses the tech weapons to their fullest, also allowing you to craft high quality equipment. If you like the crafting system in Cyberpunk 2077, but you don't want to gimp your damage to be able to use it, then you'll want to check out this build. The Tech Engineer uses tech weapons to absolutely destroy enemies who hide behind cover. Many tech weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 shoot through cover when charged up, and this build takes advantage of this by optimizing your damage when doing so. Additionally, there are many different weapons that can do this, so the Tech Engineer has a variety of weapons they can use at any given time without being unoptimized. Tech Engineers can also craft and upgrade weapons and armor, which is something other builds will likely not be able to do unless they also use tech weapons specifically. Crafting can make your life a lot easier in Cyberpunk 2077, and there are some amazing crafted weapons as well. If you don't want to miss out on this facet of the game, then you definitely want to play this build. The attributes needed for this build are technical ability and reflexes, but extra points can be placed into body for extra health. Technical ability increases your armor, but more importantly, it allows you to gain access to crafting and engineering perks that make this build possible. Reflexes is needed to increase your crit chance, as well as grant you access to assault and handguns perks that will provide additional bonuses to rifles and pistols. These are likely the weapon types you will use for this build, but I'll explain that later. Your attribute spread should look something like this eventually. You're going to want to rush technical ability with this build in order to unlock the perks you need quickly, and you will likely only place a few points into reflexes during character creation. At 7 points in reflexes, you will gain some great perks, so don't take it much higher than that until you've maxed technical ability. In this section, we'll take a look at what perks you should acquire in order to get the best performance from this build. Technical ability is our top priority, and since it contains crafting and engineering perks, we'll begin there. It's important to note that in many cases, higher level perks are better than lower level ones, so if you haven't maxed a lower level perk out when you unlock a higher level perk, you might want to come back to it later on. Engineering perks, up to 11. This perk allows you to charge up your tech weapons higher, increasing the damage they deal when charged. You'll be charging your weapons all the time, so you want to max this one ASAP. Lightning Bolt. This perk increases your critical chance with tech weapons regardless of what type of tech weapon they are. This is perfect for this build because you'll likely be using many different types of weapons. Tesla. This perk increases the damage when you charge your weapon and fire. Again, this applies to all tech weapons regardless of the type of tech weapon they are, so you'll max this one out. Ubercharge. This perk further increases tech weapon damage if it's been fully charged. Ideally, every shot you fire at enemies behind cover would be fully charged, so this one would benefit all of these shots. It doesn't always happen that way, but you'll still get great use out of it. Gun Whisperer. This perk allows you to hold the charge shot of your tech weapons until you're ready to fire. Until you gain this, you will fire instantly after you reach max charge. Take this one as soon as you get it. Fuck All Walls. This perk reduces the charge needed to penetrate walls. Ideally, you wouldn't need this, but mistakes get made, and sometimes you fire prematurely. It happens to the best of us. Lickety Split. This perk reduces the time needed to charge up your tech weapons. The faster they charge, the faster you can fire, so this one needs to be maxed out as soon as you can. Superconductor. This perk makes it so that your tech weapons completely ignore armor. That's a huge boost to damage in many cases and makes tech weapons especially deadly. Revamp. This perk increases all damage you deal with tech weapons by a significant amount, so you'll want to take this one as soon as you can. More damage equals more win. Crafting Perks. Mechanic. This perk simply gives you more materials when you disassemble armor and weapons. Take this one right away to benefit from it from the earliest moments of the game. You'll disassemble a ton of equipment, so get the most of it. Field Technician. This perk increases the damage of your crafted weapons by 5%. It's not a ton, but every little bit helps, and if you're going to craft something, it might as well be the best it can be. 200% Efficiency. This perk works similarly to Field Technician, but with armor instead. Take this to get the best possible armor you can have. Technical ability provides you increased armor, so get your armor high in order to gain more protection. Cost Optimization. This perk reduces the materials needed to craft, which can help you out a lot. Max this one out so it's easier to craft equipment. Cutting Edge. Another perk that further boosts the damage of crafted weapons, so we take it. What's the point in spending all your materials if you don't get the best product you can? Edge Runner Artisan. This perk allows you to craft legendary quality weapons, armor, and mods, which is the highest quality in the game. If you're crafting at all, it should only be the very highest quality equipment you can make, so take this one. Assault Perks and Handgun Perks. What perks you take here are really up to you and how you play, so I won't tell you exactly which ones to take. However, I will say that Assault benefits Tech Sniper Rifles and Tech Precision Rifles, so it's probably a good place to begin. If you prefer the Tech Pistol, then you'll want to begin in Handguns. You won't have a ton of perk points to spend here early on, but I highly suggest you take perks that directly increase damage like Bullseye or Real Bravo. As you progress the game and reach higher levels, you can come back and get more quality of life perks like Eagle Eye and Gunslinger. In this section, we'll take a look at what equipment is needed to play the Tech Engineer build. We'll begin with weapons first, since they are very important to this build. Unlike most builds that focus on one weapon type, Tech Engineers can use several because most Tech weapons gain the benefit of the perks in the Engineering section regardless of what type they are. This means that what weapons you use is really up to you, but you'll likely use a combination of rifles and pistols or just rifles. 
Both tech sniper rifles and tech precision rifles gain the bonuses under assault perks if they apply to rifles, so this is a natural choice as you're buffing multiple weapons at the same time. However, you can take handguns perks as well in order to use tech pistols and tech revolvers, though you will be a bit more spread out. You won't lose a ton of damage this way, and because you don't really need body perks, you'll have perk points to do it. Anytime you get a new tech weapon, I suggest trying it out and seeing how you like it because some perform differently than others. You likely won't dump points into assault and handguns until much later in the game, so you can use tech shotguns even if you like. Also, don't be afraid to purchase crafting schematics for tech weapons since you'll be able to make them as well. Armor-wise, you want to look for bonuses to crit chance or crit damage, ideally. Having more armor is of course better, but you'll have decent survivability regardless. If you're playing on very hard though, you might want to prioritize more armor. Since these bonuses are randomized as well, you'll just have to keep an eye out. Additionally, you can mod some armors for added effects, so it's not a bad idea to craft or find these as well. Use the wiki for their locations. I really like using the Threat Detector Ocular System Cyberware mod for this build because it allows you to see enemies that are aware of your presence. This gives you a huge advantage because you can shoot through walls and cover with tech weapons, and knowing where to shoot can make all the difference. Grab this one when you can, and never unslot it if you don't have to. Neofiber is an excellent cyberware for this build because it gives you a boost to evasion, making you passively harder to hit. It's nothing special, but it will help keep you alive, so you might as well have one slotted. One of the best cyberwares you can get as an engineer is Mechatronic Core, which increases your damage against drones, mechs, and robots. You can increase your damage by a staggering 50% at max, and that is not a small amount. You should definitely have this one if you're playing a tech specialist. The last cyberware you'll absolutely want for this build is Subdermal Armor since technical ability increases armor by a percentage. This will boost this cyberware's armor bonus to 400, which is a significant amount of armor. Final tips. One of the strange things about this build is that you will spend most of your attribute points into technical ability early on, but your perk points will mostly go into assault because there are no really good engineering perks early on. Don't waste perk points. Take assault perks until you unlock the better engineering and crafting ones. Learn when to charge your weapon and when not to. This can take some time to do, but it's really important because when you first begin playing with tech weapons, your natural instinct is to charge with every shot so that you do max damage, and a lot of times it's overkill. Get in the habit of charging your weapon when approaching an enemy in cover, and not charging it until you know where your target is. Standing there moving slowly while holding charge can get you killed if you don't know where to shoot, and early on you won't be able to hold your charge indefinitely anyway. Not all tech weapons handle the same way, so you'll want to learn how to best use the tech weapons you have. For instance, the pistol can shoot through cover at much shorter range, so it doesn't work well at medium ranges. However, it's absolutely devastating close up and fires wickedly fast. Swap weapons depending on what's happening on the battlefield, and don't always just use one weapon if you can help it. Besides, it's much more fun to mix it up. Don't forget to modify your weapons so that they deal more damage or have increased critical chance, etc. You'll be able to craft mods much more easily than other builds because of your investment in attack ability and crafting perks, so take advantage of it. Always be on the lookout for new mod schematics so that you can make the mods you need. Lastly, this build will not only require materials from deconstructing weapons and armor, but it will require money to buy them and schematics as well, so make sure you loot, sell, and disassemble everything you find. Increase your carrying capacity as well if you need to with the Pack Mule perk, since you'll be hauling a lot of stuff. Stay tuned for more Cyberpunk 2077 build guides, and be sure to drop by the Cyberpunk 2077 wiki for all your Night City needs. Or you can drop by our Twitch channel and say hi as we stream the game over the next couple weeks, and make sure you check out our review of the game as well as our character creation video.